Hey, I'm still waiting, man. And if we don't get the Pantone situated, I don't know how I'm gonna get this car completed. You wanna come over and kind of see where we're at right now? All right, guys, we gotta get over to Protect the Film Solutions. We have a huge issue. We're gonna take the street Evo. Dave just had some parts finally come in for the Squadra. What's going on with this big guy? This is the front diffuser from the actual race team. Again, it was the last one. This is sick. Look at this. Solid carbon. That's gorgeous. Four by four weave. Putting the kit on this car, I think could have a few more challenges than you think. One person said it bolts right on, no big deal. The other person said, oh man, you gotta cut everything. Where in the middle does that lie? Stay tuned for that project. Let's jump in the street Evo. So the challenge is we obviously chose the SVJ to go on Gumball 3000. The problem is we have a deadline to get that vehicle transported to Europe so we can do the rally. The problem with getting the vehicle to transport is it's torn apart at Protective Film Solutions and we have a bunch of challenges we have to overcome. We're gonna find out if it's even gonna make it to Europe. I hope it does. <laughs> there he is. What's up, sunshine? What's up? How are you? Good. Let's go see the nightmare that is the SVJ at the moment. Jason, Jason, Jason. Help a brother out. I'm waiting for you. Just figure out the colors. It's red, white, and blue, right? It's just red, white, and blue. tones don't matter. How many variations of red, white, and blue are there? Thousands. 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 Yeah. But look, this is Max's car. This should give you a pretty good idea, right? It's like a bright red and a darker blue. So if you want it to be matching like we talked about, yeah. we're going after that original livery, then yes. I need the Pantones. And okay. if we don't do that, then your car is a solid color right now and that's where it's leaving. So here's the issue, transport. We have to yeah. make a deadline. We're basically getting the car, goes into a container, yeah. and then they eventually load it on a ship. It takes up to four weeks to get this car to Europe. Six weeks. Four, what? It's six weeks. That's why it needs to leave in 48 hours. <laughs> What's the state of the car? You can go look at it. The car looks great, but I mean, unless we get those colors, I don't know if I can pull it off. That's on you. That's on me. That's on you and Gumball. I mean, I need it like now. David? You say today, today can be tonight. <clears throat> I prepaid for the container. It was only 4,500 bucks to get the car. That's a cheap option. The other option, which I've looked into is to fly it. Do you want to guess how much it costs to fly that car? No. How much? To fly it, just shy of 30,000. <laughs> Oh my God. But if we can't get on container. Delivery, if we pull it off, is really sick. Yeah. yeah. And it's got a great store. Okay, let's go check it out. Oh All right, Dave's on the phone to figure out what our options are. Damn. Does that look different? You guys remember the car from before. Well, it's now going completely white, so we have a base to put the gumball livery on. And I'm gonna give you another little hint. A lot of the carbon had to go white as well in order for the livery to work out. So if you look at the wing, the wing is all carbon, but we've chosen to wrap the top of the wing and the center part of the ALA system, which has an air induction. This is pretty crazy. I've never seen my car all white like this. Oh, and I like it with the side intakes like that. The side intakes are all white. Holy crap. Look at that. Dude, that is bananas. So all white here, all white on the roof. The whole front end's all white. Still got the front bumper to go. So if you guys didn't know, the car is what is considered new Giallo Orion. So they're working away. The base is done. How you doing? Not good. So it's more complicated because it's not just getting on the ship. It has to do through customs of the customs yard. So they have to pick it up literally tomorrow morning. <laughs> so what's option number two? I have to fly it. The problem is they're checking right now because the planes they have going there, it's A and A. There's only so many spots for cars. So they're not sure right now if even spots left 
on the planes of the LAX. I might have to go to New York. I was just talking to Lee over at Gumball. Why does everybody use WhatsApp? Hey, Europeans. Like, can you not WhatsApp. just text me no in does. a normal thing? So good news. I have the Pantones. They've given me the colors of blue and red. They look like numbers yeah. to me. No, that's it. Send it to me right now. We need that font, the special font they're using with the line through yeah. it. Done and down, we're making progress here. Well, I haven't talked about the livery yet, but I'll give you guys a little hint. This is the roof scoop that we took off the back and the roof scoop's even gonna go away. That's all you get. Little teaser, how are we doing? Uh, well, we've lost basically the $5,000 we already paid for the container. That's not gonna happen, that's dead. Yeah, there's no way this car's getting done tomorrow. I'm not asking you to at this point, this is on us. Lee's gonna get me the font, by the way. Yeah. For the numbers, also for any of the other decals that they want on the car, so we can incorporate it the best that we can. So if I hit this car on a flight from LA, they're checking, Okay. it's 26, 6,000, <laughs> that's one way. One way. The opposite way coming back. For some reason, when you fly a car to Europe, it's like, that's an average price. To come back, is triple. So it's $75,000 to fly at home, which we'd never do. Problem now is, from a budget perspective, the rally ends in the part of Montenegro. Not a common place where transporters go. I don't know what our plan is to get picked up. I'm getting a quote for that. It won't be cheap. Eric, so, you got any friends in transport? Don't lie to me. The cost of transport is gonna cost more than the actual event. Holy crap. The colors will work. Okay. Finishing up all the white, and then we can start doing the livery. Did you get this car serviced before it came here? Oil, fresh oil, check the batteries, check suspension. No. Well, then uh -huh. we need to do that as well. This is DD, baby. Every day is uh, super crazy. No, no, not before Gumball. You need a service. <laughs> okay, we get it serviced. Not a big deal. We also got to wrap the front bumper. The idea for my livery, the part that goes down the center and over the roof scoop and all that, are those going to be all individual? Yeah. They're all individually like. You saw the roof scoop. So it's not a flat panel, and we're we're doing a flat design. You have to go basically around it and, and then out. also put it on the roof yeah. and put it down the back of all the louvers on the back of the engine cover. In that case, we better get on it. All right, we might have a solution. Flying the car to Europe now. I have one more surprise for you. I love these wheels. These are the wheels I wanted made that are the replica to the Diablo SV wheel for a modern day Lamborghini, but they're not gonna work with this livery. I wanted to actually replicate the race car. So I've called my friends at AL13 to actually make a one-off wheel that they didn't have engineering for, and I paid a little bit of extra money to get this done. They just, funny enough, sent me gumball, SVJ hot priority. That doesn't tell you anything, but this might. That's your only Ugh. teaser Ugh. of what this wheel's gonna turn out and look like. This car's gonna look bananas. If we can't get it there, oh man, that'd be a huge fail on our part. Let's huge go fail. Let's go route somebody on Gumball. Make some new friends. Yeah. I'm actually nervous about even getting this car to Europe. It's something we've never done before. Shipping a car halfway across the world. We have so much invested, you guys. We put so much energy into Gumball itself. We daily upload. We keep Jamie up every day. We keep Keep Mark up for a backup. You know, there's different time zones. The internet's hard to deal with. This is actually the most stress we've had before we've gone on a rally, hands down, because now we have to figure out how to get the car there. We missed a genuine deadline. Honestly, this sucks. I don't honestly enjoy burning another $25,000 for no reason. We have new merch. Right. And we tied the merch into this livery. So if this doesn't make it to Gumball, oh that God. would be an absolute massive, complete disaster it's of a failure. It's a big failure. investment to do a merch shop. We have to buy all the merch. Oh my God, I never thought about that. Please, 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 you guys, put out some positive energy that we get this car to Europe. Because I want this car to come to Europe. This is the car that now in my brain, I picture myself driving on Gumball Europe, going through all those epic roads, corners, and coming to meet all of you guys. I know there's so many of you that have been asking us to come to Europe and come and see you for the last, I don't know, four or five years. Or some of you guys are so OG, you've been with us from the very beginning. So we want to make this happen for you. Somebody sponsor this video, please. This is, yeah, <laughs> please start yeah, sponsoring. Somebody insert your name below right now to yeah. sponsor the sponsor video. Sponsor the video. And at this point, this car's got a long way to go before it's leaving here. SVJ is in the very capable hands of you guys. Let's get on with our day, get out of these guys' hair and let them get the proper blues and reds and everything printed out. And fingers crossed, if I could only cross my fingers, that this car makes it to bloody well Europe. Okay. Now, just to be clear, this is not PFS's problem. I mean, it's their problem, but it's not their fault. It's my fault because I've been going back and forth between Gumball and PFS and trying to figure out what livery I want. <laughs> It hurts. 
right? Yeah. If you're at home right now and you're like, oh, it's not bad, what'd you see in person one day? Which Hangover. hopefully you will. Hangover DDE, I was always prepared. Oh man, we should sell DDE earplugs. Yeah. <laughs> Says the FD champion secret lair, not just a secret after posted the address a few times in videos. You guys don't come here, please. He doesn't like it. We're actually here because we want to know how close was he able to get the paint for Dave's bumpers. You guys stole Dave's hood as a sample. Yeah, we needed some panel that we could match up. And then Pearl's the worst. Depending on the angle, it'll change the color. And that was a challenge we had with the Diablo. And then that. Dave's car also has PPF on it. Yeah. So PPF. that's going to create a problem. The PPF 50%. is really old. It's probably eight years old. It should come off anyways. So PFS, when they have a time, I'm going to ask them to un-PPF it and then <clears throat> re-PPF the whole thing. In the sun, this is really beautiful paint. On the V10s, they did Giallo Midas. On the V12s, they did Giallo Orion. On the SVJ, they made one called New Giallo Orion. So even though it's the new Giallo Orion, if you actually put my Mercy and the SVJ side by side, they are actually significantly different. Yeah. So even Lamborghini, I think, couldn't match the paint anymore and was like, it's new Giallo well, Orion. It's also like, when this car was painted 10 years ago, they used a completely different type of paint right. that you can't get anymore. Yeah, lead-based. And it's not legal. <laughs> yeah, this is lead-based. So paint. now you're trying to use a new paint and try to match <laughs> it to an old paint. And this is aluminum, right? Yeah. Uh, so this is gonna have a different look to the paint regardless. Looks well, good, they're painted though. Look at that, you guys. Yeah. Super Trofeo kit's coming along. This is actually pretty heavy. I could do a carbon hood. That's the one piece of the pie I haven't sliced yet is I can't find the Super Trofeo hood yet. Ironically, it's basically a factory hood modified, but the pieces they modify with those carbon pieces, can't get them. Well, that looks good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now, Here, the it. million dollar question, or in this case, $6,000. All right. Does it match? Let's throw it on. Tim, what do you think so far, Tim? Yeah, it's got it. really bright out here. <laughs> <laughs> the game. Does it match? From this side. On the camera, it looks like it matches. From this side, it looks pretty accurate. I feel like the bumper looks a little darker. From here, it looks spot on. It's very odd. Yeah. Uh, so what's probably going to have to happen is I'm going to buy a new hood, maybe a carbon hood or one from the race car and then paint the hood to match and then paint the whole car and blend the fenders. No, man, it's a squadron Corsa. It's a special car. Paint it a different color. The, forget no. this yellow. Forget this no. yellow. Crap. Let's paint oh, my it. God. Let's paint it black. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pull the interior and put a, put a leather interior in it while we're at let's it. Just let's just paint it black. Hear me out. And then let's wrap it satin PPF. There we go. <laughs> Look at Eric. <laughs> Eric can't handle me. Well, you want a twin? Eric and I don't look alike. You want a twin? Or you going to do a 50 shades off yellow. Dirty old uh, on camera though, the audience right now is probably saying it's perfect, but in person there's definitely some differences. But look at these built-in dive planes, part of the bumper. <laughs> that. that one got right there. <laughs> you break that off and you can't unbolt and re like put a new one on. I mean, it literally comes to like a razor's edge there too in the front. Let's it's pull it out. Well, Tim, don't do forget, like there is a foot? splitter that goes around here that protects that. That's true. That's all one piece. And then we did find the dive planes that go on right here that mount on in Poland from a race team. I'm not gonna lie. This set. thing is very thin. It's super, super thin. I mean, you get a solid rock and that's going, going right great. through the bumper. <laughs> You're gonna put this on? Tomorrow. Yep. Next video? Yep. Well, it's gonna be a big one. I had two opinions from two owners of this car. One said it's no problem, it's really easy. The other said you have to cut the whole car up. One's a liar, one's telling the truth. Tomorrow we'll if we find cut out. cut the whole car up, we're repainting it. We're not cutting car. the car up. If we're not gonna put this kit on because it doesn't fit without cutting the car up, then we'll, we'll just put up. it on eBay. No, we'll temporarily cut it up, then we'll all back And we'll back here, they yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well, thanks, Mike, that's awesome. No problem. We have yellow bumpers, you guys. Dave DDE's biggest build ever, right here on DDE. I actually can't wait to see this. It's gonna look really good because the race car looks crazy. What are you doing? What are you doing? My bumper. You know, it's Los Angeles poses, right? You guys that do this? <laughs> You got me on one knee. Dude, what are you doing? It was, it was, it was locked. It was not locked. It was locked. Dude, we're, we're not getting any younger. We're not. Oh. Getting, we're not getting any younger. In fact, by the time they watch this video, I'm 40 right now. If you're watching this video, yeah. Wish Dave a happy birthday. Today's 40 Sunday. years old. You don't even want to know what these balls look like. Oh, I can show you. Manscape sponsoring the next video. <laughs> Right 
right now. I'm using my finger to cover the drink spout. That's a life hack on the road. <laughs> Oh, what a day. We've had a bit of a day with the Lamborghini scene. The SVJ just got real expensive. The longer we get into this business, the more things we do, the more stressful it gets. I remember some of those smaller stresses in the beginning. Now it's like getting a car to Europe. Now, we're very lucky that our stress factor is getting a car to Europe to do gumball. I we shouldn't be complaining. It's a good problem to have. Yeah, but Nevertheless, it's, a, it's, a, problem to it's solve. a problem to solve. There's no unlimited funds here. We don't have like family money. We do we always not. joke about that. We gotta bring a car. We did obviously Gumball in the SVJ, our first Gumball here in North America. Then we went to the Middle East and we rented a car. That wasn't so much fun. Yeah, we're not doing that again. And you guys want to see us drive one of our cars in Europe. Especially yeah. if you're in one of those countries and don't have the opportunity to come to California and see one of our cars, I know you'll be excited to see uh, a DD car, especially the SVJ. It's definitely a staple on the channel. And uh, we are dropping the new merch. And grab some merch and then bring your merch to the rally. I want to see you guys wearing our DD stuff in the audience. That's really what we cool. want to do. We've been working really hard to be able to have a new merch line that's in collaboration with this whole new livery. Mm -hmm. Huge shout out to Lee, by the way, because the guys at Gumball, they don't traditionally give out the colorways, the Pantones, or any of the livery before an event. It's show up, and part of your experience is getting your car done on the grid. It's because Lee really likes me. We have not told them anything about this, but we have a huge Gumball surprise this year. I didn't want to bring it up too soon, but can we, can we, we can't tell them what it is. Can't tell them what it is. But we can hint that we're doing something with Gumball. Correct. We're doing something with Gumball. This is a dream come true. I don't even, uh, I can just get into it so much right can't now. Can't tell them anything. Going on Gumball was a dream come true. Getting to be a part of it in the way that we're gonna be is honestly like, Beyond I, exceeding mind dreams. Blowing. It's mind blowing. You know we mean business when I put gloves on. We're going to tag team the e <laughs> <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. What? The Street Evo has two sets of wheels. So distracting. The point of the 19s was to have a sticky set of tires that I could take to the track. So when we go do some track stuff or if we want to go for a fun run one night, then I don't want to burn up the Cup 2s. I have a whole bunch of really good XCOM tires that we've been using for years that also just last longer. They wear better. They actually probably smoke better to be honest. Those fit on the 20. So we're gonna do a swap, because Dave was asking me earlier to do some shenanigans, and I was like, bro, bro. Taxes and shipped here, they were like 2,500 bucks for four. We're gonna pull these off and save these for another day. This is a cup two, and this is just from like screwing around for a week, and I'm already halfway through the tread. I'm almost down to the bar, to be honest. Feel that. Like right there, that's on the bar. All right, Still sir, ready to bend over. You are? Yeah, to crack the nuts. Oh my goodness. Nice to lose ready tidy. Just tightening. What? You just tightened it. No way. Oh, I think you're, you're blind, dude. Oh my yeah. god. People didn't realize. Man, you're worse than mine. <laughs> Fish Holy f They're different left and right. Hey, 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 backup plan. Just in case it doesn't work. What do you think? My Fiat 500E. It is Italian. You get about 60 miles on it. You know, Jason, when you talk, you don't say anything. 